All right, um, so my name is Jeffrey Wright. Um, I'm new to our class this summer, so I'm just getting, uh, getting acquainted with uh, this whole process. But um, a lot of you might have heard of RPI Planner. It's actually a project that was being developed by students previously in our class, but it's been, uh, it's been kind of silent over the past year or so, year and a half. Um, so I'm, I decided to re uh, pick it back up because I think it's a really, really cool project that has some uh, interesting features and really use could be really useful to the uh, student body. And hopefully I'm, uh, Trying, I'm going to add some more features and be able to uh, uh, continue development on this uh, in the future and hopefully get it eventually released to the student body uh, so it can be used. So what is RPI Planner? Um, it's a course uh, or a schedule planning tool similar to RPI Scheduler in function. Um, uh, R but RPI Planner helps students generally plan out their entire stay at RPI for their entire enrollment instead of just one semester, which is what Scheduler is designed for because Scheduler takes from uh, the actual courses and their times. This is kind of mapping out what kind of courses you want to take in which semester. Um, and it leverages the requirements from your CAD reports. Uh, I'm assuming most of you know what those are and um, you, that you've used scheduled reports, so you might have some sort of basis for this. And as I said before, it was developed by previous RCOS students, primarily Eric Allen, um, but he, no one else is working on it right now. So I decided to pick it up. Um, so what does it do right now? Um, RPI Planner it provides a simple interface for constructing a plan of study for your entire state at RPI. Um, it, it leverages an easy drag and drop to, uh, control to manipulate courses, whether you're dragging them into the plan, getting rid of them, moving them around. Uh, it makes it all pretty easy from there. Um, and it handles a course database and course descriptions, so you can see what you're doing when you're doing it. You're not just you don't just see a course code or a course name and have to guess what it is. You can actually look at it and see the course descriptions as well. It also handles saving and loading preset and user-made plans and also prints uh, things. So a lot of this functionality, um, the basic functionality is already in place. And it also handles the validation of the plan of study so that you know if, you're, if the plan of study that you've created is actually something that's legitimate and can earn you a degree at RPI. So this is the current interface. It's probably not easy to see. I'll do a demonstration now shortly. But as you can see over here on the right, there's the uh, course requirements uh, in the middle or is the degree requirements on the right. In the middle is the course uh, plan of study you've laid out. Here down here is the course description. Here's just a giant database of courses. Um, so right here, I'll just bring this up real quick. All right, so that's, uh, you can see it a little bit better. So you can see over here these descriptions. You can drop them down and search for courses that will fit that description. It'll pop up over here. Um, or courses that are just straight up required are already in here. And when you load up a uh, degree for the first time, it'll you just drop them all in in the generic form that the uh, department gives you. Um, however, what I want to do is make this much more flexible. This is a very, very rigid system, and it's really only suitable for a small subset of, uh, of the population right now. Uh, one of the reasons is that uh, right now the number of degrees that you can choose from is very limited. So you can see here there's only five things. Um, that, that's pretty much just the test suite that he had used for uh, the data he had collected from other RCOS students uh, from their CAP reports. So really it's a very limited subsection and you can even see here in the, uh, the courses that they're not even all there. Like uh, there's probably only half the course uh, courses offered at RPI regularly are even in the course database here. So it's very limited and you can see here that yes it offers AP and transfer credit but it doesn't allow any more than four. So people who have that are kind of out of luck uh, because they can't put that in there. It's, uh, and it's also very rigid because there's only four um, courses per semester. That's another issue I wanted to solve. And the biggest issue is that you, from here, you pretty much just choose one degree. And that really only helps a certain group of people because a lot of people at RPI, they, they're going for dual majors, double majors, minors, masters, all that kind of stuff. But this really only handles one degree at a time. So what I want to do is, uh, uh, what I'm working on right now as well is trying to add functionality to support multiple degrees so you can uh, add and remove degrees at any time um, and allow for things like minors and double majors and things like that that a lot of students at RPI uh, would really want. Oops. So as I can see right here, these are my plan additions. So flexibility is key. Uh, this is a very rigid system right now, but I want to make it so that it's much more flexible and suitable so a wide range of students can use it. So this includes multiple degrees um, in the same plan. This includes changing the number of courses and credits per semester or number of semesters in the plan. 
uh, because everyone's stay at RPI is different. You're, do you're doing different minors, different uh, course schedules, and everything's changing. It's very rigid and it's too hard uh, to apply to the wide uh, student body. So, and I also want more diversity in terms of getting all the current, or not all the current degrees, but more current degrees um, in there to choose from. Um, so whether that includes minors or some masters or double majors, things like that. And um, also the course database is not complete, so it's not even possible to construct a lot of the uh, plans of study that people want to. So here's just a mock-up of one of the things I did. Uh, it's the panel from the right side, and uh, as you can see, I've added uh, a remove button at the top right uh, next to the original uh, degree, and then down here you have another drop-down list and an add button. And that's just a simple interface that will allow you to control, manipulate and control exactly um, which degrees uh, you're going to have in your plan. And I think that's a really easy way of doing it. Um, but that's, that's just kind of a mock-up of it. I'm, I'm currently working on doing the underlying functionality of that. So um, if, if time allows this semester, on, on top of, or this summer, on top of the, uh, the plan additions I've already mentioned, I also want to add this automated completion feature. Um, it's something that I, I, I've thought about a little, for a little while now. So if you have, um, say you don't really know what you're doing with your plan of study. You've got a dual major and a minor that you're trying to do, and you're not really sure where to start. You can specify, uh, with this addition, you'd, you'd specify these, the degree programs you want to put in. You also specify uh, the maximum number of credits you'd want to take per semester and the number of semesters that you'd want to do it in. And when you automate the completion, it would fill out the plan of study to the best of its ability. If it's within that possibility, it'll give you a, a plan of study that would fit those requirements. Uh, if not, it'll give you the uh, plan of study that would finish it in the shortest amount of time. This is a very useful feature. Uh, so say, um, say you had someone who's kind of strapped financially and they're looking, for, looking to get out here early. They can put in their major that they want and maybe a minor and say to automate the plan. And if it returns a schedule that's less than four years, hey, it's done something for you, you you've, it's, it's found a plan for you that will fit your needs and uh, get you out of here sooner and maybe uh, keep you uh, financially well. Um, also, a, a feature which would fetch degree requirements of courses directly from RPI instead of being hard coded in would also be a nice feature that I would, uh, I, I might actually, I might try and do that instead of just hard coding in all of the other things, so that might be a better use of, of time and better uh, feature for RPI Planner. Um, so yeah, here's my brief schedule. Uh, that I was planning on doing. Uh, so far in June, I've really taken, uh, I've really uh, dove into the uh, design and code of the fun of the program itself, and I've started to add functionality for the multiple degree programs. Uh, next month in July, I'm trying to, I want to add the flexibility uh, to allow you to design your uh, plan how you want to do it, and also possibly add some more courses and degree programs to try and flesh that out a bit more and get some more diversity in there. And then uh, use August and the end of July to add those additional features if I have time. Any questions? Yeah. yeah. Is there like a database that the school has that you can use, or do you have to put it all together yourself? Um, I don't know of a database. I, I know that the, the obviously the they have the, um, the the best thing I can think of is in the course catalog. There's the searchable list of all the courses. And that might be the best location to look for that, but um, I don't know. Okay. So the doctors, they did start out, they talk to somebody. They yeah. know where, if they are now believing in class students, especially after success with their course schedule, so they might help you. But usually the, uh, the CAP report is a, is a nightmare. Yeah. Normally yeah. It's, a, it's a very hard thing. Anything to ease it will be a good idea. Right, right now it's just hard coded in the program and I, I feel like he probably just did that for convenience sake so he didn't have to program that stuff in already but um, I'll have to research and look into that when, when time comes and figure out if there's a database I can just pull things from that would be a lot easier. The only thing it is, is I, well, I do not know whether RPI will appreciate if somebody who finish their degree in three and a half years and leave yeah. So, which means uh, you don't tell all of, all those things to RPI because <laughs> that may be that may be against that uh, life. Yeah. All right. Thanks. Thank you very much.